Hi, and welcome to Canna Basics. Today, we're learning how to make cannabis-infused olive oil. Olive oil is one of the most effective oils in which to infuse THC, and it's also one of the most versatile cooking oils for recipes. Cannabis-infused olive oil could be a staple in any marijuana edible fan's repertoire. So let's get started. Here's what you need to make basic, everyday-strength, weed-infused olive oil. First, of course, you'll need some cannabis. We're using about 28 grams of flowers, and you can also use about two ounces of shake or trim. You need some olive oil, a 750 milliliter bottle is perfect, and you could optionally use some sunflower or some soy lecithin. We're gonna show a method using the canning jar and a saucepan of boiling water, but we also recommend the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser, which you can save $30 on with the code roughhouse at theherbalinfuser.com. Now let's get started. The first step is going to be to prepare a cannabis, which uh, it will involve grinding it. If you're using a bud or flower, you want to grind that up. Then we're going to put it on, I'm using parchment paper here. You could use foil or you could use uh, just a pan, an oven safe pan. Uh, but we're going to activate it now to make sure that it's uh, psychoactive. We're going to put that in the oven, preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. And when it comes out, it's going to be nice and toasted brown. And so it's going to have a very aromatic smell. It's going to smell like a vaporizer all through your house, probably. All through the neighborhood, most likely. Okay, the next step, though, is we're going to take that decarboxylated cannabis. Especially if we're using the, um, the canning jar method here. We're taking the quart canning jar. We're going to put the cannabis uh, down inside of our, our canning jar. Uh, the now, we're going to pour in the olive oil. Uh, you need about two cups, at least, for this recipe, but if you use a 750 milliliter bottle, you can go ahead and use the whole bottle. It'll fit in the core jar, and it's still a good ratio. But it's about uh, two and a half cups or a little bit more. Uh, now, this is an optional step. Uh, soy lecithin is used as an emulsifier, and this will help uh, keep it from separating over time. And so we're adding in about a teaspoon of the soy lecithin powder. You could also use a sunflower lecithin if you do not want to use a soy product. And now we're going to take our... Uh, combination of ingredients, so we're going to put that in a double boiler. We're actually not using a double boiler, we're just using a boiler uh, with just slightly boiling water, and we're using the jar as the top part of a double boiler. And so uh, using the canning jar, if you keep the water just barely, barely simmering boiling for an hour and a half, it's going to be perfect. And then use a silicon spatula, nothing metal or glass, and to keep it stirred the whole hour and a half. Now optionally, you can use the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser or any of the Herbal Infuser machines. And in this case, you're going to put all of your ingredients right inside the hopper, uh, the cannabis, the oil, and the soy lecithin is all combined there. And that's going to mix it up. And you could also skip grinding if you uh, had budge. You wouldn't have to grind your cannabis if you're using one of these machines. Uh, but you may still want to grind it to decarb it more evenly. But however, uh, we've got the machine there, everything, all the ingredients are in there. I've chosen the hour and a half or the uh, mighty long cycle here, or it's actually the mighty fast two cycle, which is the longer of the two mighty fast cycles, but it's an hour and a half cycle. Okay, and so either way, after the hour and a half of infusing, whether you're using the uh, canning jar method or the mighty fast herbal infuser method, now we're going to strain it. And I've got a fine mesh strainer here. It's a pretty fine mesh. I'm not going to strain it again, but you might want to strain it once through the, the fine mesh strainer and then strain it again through some cheesecloth if you want a really refined oil. You could also use several layers of cheesecloth to refine it or to strain it in the first place. Okay, but after you've strained your oil, now you're going to be able to store it in an airtight container. This will store on the shelf for weeks on end. It's perfect for that. Now you can use this oil for any number of cannabis infused recipes and we're going to be showing you a lot of those coming up really soon. So stay tuned for that. This episode of Cannabis Basics was brought to you by the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser. You can save $30 off the Mighty Fast Herbal Infuser if you use the code roughhouse at theherbalinfuser.com. So check that out. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cannabis Basics. If you did, please hit that like button right now. Also, please subscribe to Roughhouse Studios for more cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt for Roughhouse Studios. As always, thank you for watching.